fierce. Fascinating. Fearless. Fabulous. Feminine. Fam. Free. Fired up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the mothership of all things feminism. This is Fired Up, a podcast that celebrates women who are fearless in the pursuit of what sets their soul on fire. Women who break the mold and dare to dream. Grab a seat and take your place in a safe space for bold conversations on charting our own path. Hello and welcome to episode one of Fired Up. I'm your host, Sheila Bett. So the wise ones say, third time's the charm. Podcasting and I have had a blissful, rocky, passionate, sometimes on and off relationship. Similar to how we navigate romantic relationships. There's the first love, aptly named puppy love. It's sweet and cute and innocent. With little to no experience, we're pretty sure it'll last forever. Sometimes it does, but more often than not, it doesn't. And we find ourselves breaking off or slowly fading out of this intense novel experience. For most of us, it takes a few heartbreaks, tears, and self-flagellation, maybe even pity parties, before we can pick ourselves back up and try again. When the right one finally comes along, you have an arsenal of tools and can hopefully meet them from an abundant and healthy place. Hopefully. So it is with my podcasting journey. I can't believe it's been eight years since I started to dream of becoming a podcaster. I was dull eyed and, you know, exploring this new frontier that was just a whisper in most people's ears. I was clueless about the rules of production, you know, that you couldn't just use commercial music without permission. But looking back now to 20-something year old me, I see that I had a hint of something real. Something that would stick to my skin like sweat on a humid January afternoon in Lamu. Sickeningly sweet, where you take a shower to cool off, but still enjoy the embrace of a warm, unrelenting sun. So here we are on the third and very promising go. They say three is a lucky number. Good vibes was exhilarating. I was testing the waters and I learned some tough lessons. Nikao ga nakurudi soko, as my Nairobi people like to say. Today I'm fired up to share what came of that second attempt. Along the journey, my path was made clear. If there's anything I can go on and on for eternity and more about, it's the subject of women, and to be specific, female empowerment. <laughs> it's in my name, so there was no escape. In the dictionary, the English dictionary, and colloquially in Australia, Sheila refers to a girl or woman. So join me on this journey where I will share my thoughts on the female experience through my own story, Explore how we can live courageous, extraordinary, limitless, authentic lives through the stories of other women who are doing just that. We will not miss a chance to celebrate the many strides that women have made and continue to make in an ever-evolving world. So come get fired up with me as we spark some conversations and challenge mindsets that we've long held on what it means to be a woman. For those just joining in on the journey, you're in luck with 10 episodes to catch up on. Starting off with a three-part series, Debunking Feminism. An ode to three women I consider phenomenal. A two-part interview with a sustainable businesswoman expanding our scope of what cannabis is capable of beyond an IRA feeling. And finally, a deep dive into creative license and our duty to tell the truth through a commentary on the Woman King movie. See you all next week.